Atmospheric measurements provided by radar, weather balloons and towers are good for forecasting a few days ahead, but not so good at predicting dynamic hour-to-hour -hour weather changes. Speaking via Skype, aerospace engineer Jamie Jacob says that can be extremely important in places prone to sudden violent storms. I think you know, Oklahoma is a really good, good example because uh, even though that we're already a very weather dynamic state, uh, Oklahoma only has two uh, balloon launches a day, uh, one at dawn and one at dusk from a single location in the state. And that's where all the weather forecasting information comes from. So that data is really sparse and it's difficult for meteorologists that are developing these forecasting models to get very good idea about how that weather is changing from these very uh, limited number of data points. So scientists at Oklahoma State University are developing small, affordable weather drones that can spend hours in the air taking measurements from many points. The goal, as meteorology professor Philip Chilson explained via Skype, is to give researchers a cheap way to better understand storm physics and improve the accuracy of computer model-based for Forecasting. Part of what's going to help us drive the cost down is the scope of the measurements. Whereas some of these larger platforms are focusing on almost transoceanic flights or things of this variety, we are really focusing on the lower atmosphere. And so our platforms can, by design, be much smaller. The spherical drone called Atlas can fly, hover, roll on the ground and fly again, which makes it ideal for flying in stormy weather. In addition to taking measurements, it can send real-time video of storms and help search and rescue missions. Our real goal is to try to develop systems that really, uh, I don't want to say replace, but there may be that possibility of replacing weather balloons but currently augmenting them, so increasing the capabilities. Researchers say there are still many engineering challenges to be met, such as how to make the weather drones automatically stay away from other air traffic. They expect a drone capable of sampling the lower atmosphere may be available in about two years. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.